people of the internet, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. So I went thrifting with one of my best friends. If you don't know what thrifting is, it is basically hopping from thrift store to thrift store to thrift store, just chilling, shopping, saving your coins, but at the same time spending your coins, but truly saving your coins. I grew up going to thrift stores. My aunts are the thrift store queens. They always find the best things and name brand items and they're just gods when it comes to that. It's an activity that I grew up on. It's not something I've always loved per se because I did not enjoy thrift shopping as a child. Like I hated it when they took me, but I appreciate it now. I appreciated it with <laughs> growth and age and that's, <laughs> thank you Lord. So with all that being said, let me introduce you guys to the beauty of the thrifting world. Before I get into everything and show you guys the items that I got, um, just keep in mind that I only spent $28. All the stuff combined that I got is well over $200. So I had a phenomenal day yesterday. Where do I even start? Also, before I get started and show you my stuff, I just want to say I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to like be like, hey, I got this and you don't. Like I, I genuinely am just excited and I wanted to share with everybody what great things can happen when you go thrifting. <laughs> it's all about the law of attraction with thrifting, okay? I attract what I like, okay? Guys, whatever you bring home from the thrift store, make sure you wash it. I'm sure it sounds like common sense to wash it because thrift store, those are secondhand items. Somebody owned this before. And that seems like common sense, but Twitter teaches me every day, common sense is something that people lack. But yeah, moral of the story, wash your shit before you wear it out, please. Thank you for coming to my TED talk, okay? Okay. The first item I'm going to show is a very cute romper from Charle Russe. I was actually really scared to buy this. So I saw this item at the last minute. I almost left without it. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared to buy it because I've never owned a jumpsuit. I've never tried on a jumpsuit. And uh, rompers usually don't work out for me because they make me look like a refrigerator. And my biggest fear is looking like a refrigerator. So I was really going out on a whim when I bought this. What really got me to buy it is the material. It's very, stretchy so i knew no matter what i could probably fit into it even if it was a little bit small and tight plus if i didn't like it my friend totally liked it and i would have passed it on down to her also the buy wouldn't have seemed totally wasted because if i didn't like it my friend liked it so i would have just totally i would have just given it to her but it totally worked out and i'm so happy this thing is so cute and now i want more jumpsuits in my life i've been introduced to a whole new world and it's jumpsuits and I've been missing out. A whole new world. Before going thrifting, I had the intentions of finding mom jeans. I thrive, obviously, of looking like a soccer mom, so I need mom jeans. And that's exactly what I got. Um, I don't even know what size these are. Let's look, okay? The size is not on them. Here, what the heck? Am I stupid? <laughs> the size isn't on here, but I'm pretty sure these are like a eight five six it's between those numbers guys look at the buttons look at the buttons and i know a good button my favorite movie is Coraline. when i first tried them on i contemplated the way they fit i like the baggy fit that they give but also i contemplated whether or not i wanted to cut them into shorts and i'm still contemplating that as of right now i think i'm leaning towards keeping them the way they are i think it ties really well with a nice belt. I do have a hard time finding jeans that are long enough. I'm only 5'5". Five five. I'm not super tall. Average height, I'm 5'5". Five five. But every single time I'm jean shopping, I have issues finding jeans that cover my ankles. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be Little House on the Prairie by any means, but like, I'm just tired of my ankles being out because it's like, my pants aren't too small. I'm just, but I'm just tired of my ankles being out, guys. Like, <laughs> Like, it's cool to have your ankles out in the summertime, you know, but when it's winter, I feel like everybody's looking at me like, what are you doing? I don't know, maybe that's just my anxiety <laughs> speaking right now. This next item I was also scared of buying only because I was worried about the way it would fit, if it would be too short, if it would even... Uh, really cute velvet skirt. This is another item I was scared to buy because I had no idea if it would be too short and how it would fit, but it turned out okay. I feel like it is a little short, but I'm still going to wear it. It's short, but I not short enough to where I have an issue. <laughs> I just need the bars to open. 
like now. The velvet skirt is made by Gap Jeans and the jeans I showed before are made by David Taylor. And I found this J. Crew button down shirt, which can totally be worn professionally or as you can see casually with the skirt. When I was trying on these outfits, I honestly thought this outfit would look good together. Can I just, for the last item, get a drum roll please? Let's see if I can simultaneously hit myself and drum roll while presenting the item. Okay, let me chill out. So guys, I actually found Yeezys going thrifting. Like, what? I, I don't even know. I was walking down the aisle um, by myself. My friend, I think, was on the phone. So I was just venturing out doing my own thing. And I was looking at the shoes just for shits and giggles because I've never really paid attention to shoes in thrift stores. Um, I don't know why. There's no particular reason. I just was blinded before. At this thrift store, all the shoes were above the racks of clothes. So it made it easier to look at them and they weren't off in a separate section. So as I was looking through the clothes, I would look up and see shoes and just keep going down the aisle. So I get to the end of the aisle and I look up and I see these bad boys double cheeked up on a Tuesday. It was actually Monday, but a Tuesday. At first I thought I blinked, guys. I was like, is, Guys, it was like seeing water in a desert. I thought I was seeing a mirage and it was an illusion. And I was like, is this, are you for real? So I picked them up. This is the equivalent of someone pinching me because I'm not dreaming. And I look inside and they say $12, but they don't have the size. So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, please be my size. So my friend gets off the phone at the same time and we're walking up to each other. And I'm like, are these real bro? After she confirmed their realness, um, I bought them obviously, and they're in mint condition, guys. There's nothing wrong with them, except they both have a random stain um, on them, but that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I just bought freaking Yeezys for $12. <sighs> I'm still shaking just thinking about it. I, that was such an adrenaline rush, guys. I'm still in shock that that even happened. How did, like, things like that never happened to me. So like, what? <sighs> So all of those items that I just showed you was a total, as I said, of $28. And as you can see, the items worth are well over $28. But the point of this video isn't to brag or anything or show off or throw it in people's faces of what I bought. It's to say, hey, guys, go thrifting with your best friends. It's an activity that you will have so much fun doing. And you never know what you'll find because I, that was not what I was expecting. But yeah, let me breathe. I forgot how to breathe for a second. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next week. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Have you ever found anything cool while thrifting? Let me know. Let me grab my crystal for this exit. Namaste. Have a nice day, guys.